Hey guys, yesterday I posted this, this little pentatonic lick in my shorts and I thought like it would be cool to do a more complete video and give you some ideas on transitioning between the different boxes of pentatonic. So I'll go over through this, this lick again real quick because I think it's pretty fun and simpler than it sounds. So it's just going up three strings at a time like and then backtracking one string. And then adding the second, the minor, the major second, the second of the minor scale, and then coming back down. Coming back down the same way, so. This added little hexatonic note or the major second is just there to even out the timing. So when you come up, you have one, two, three, four, five, six all over again. Now, um, you can also use this to, to transition between boxes. Like say you did it in E minor pentatonic scale, you could kind of go like. throw in the second right here, the F sharp. sure if I want to go like this here or this but whatever you do I recommend you go come back down the same way so you the idea here is I start each new shape on my index finger And that way, every shift up is pretty simple. The nice it comes back down. Now, if you want to work on your speed, guys, I recommend stomp, 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 that you try the clean channel as well. So. so while effects are fun and distortion is fun, they can actually hide a lot of mistakes and dynamics that you might not be hearing. So I recommend just an equal balance of distorted and clean. I used to tell my students like, just practice everything on the clean channel first and then move to distortion later because you'll be cleaner, you'll hear things more clearly. But now I've kind of come to believe that actually it's a good idea to do both because distortion does reveal certain flaws as well. Like you may, uh, when you play with distortion, you may notice you have more like ringy strings. Like if you're not muting good enough, you'll get some hear the ringy strings a little more, the extra strings that you're not using. So you kind of have to be a little more cognizant of like using your palm or your other hand to mute strings you're not using. So just to make it like a 50-50 balance, give it a lick a shot and make, let me know how it works out in the comments.